What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is Monday. We are getting back to life, back to reality here at Joe Boo Sports. I'll be going down the country tomorrow, so got a lot of work to do here before I do to go work on the Red Brick House. One of the things that's kind of interesting is, is we've all heard the stories of Stephen Jones um, allegedly taking the card away from Jerry Jones before he was about to put it in. And you wonder how much of that is actually correct, because the way it works, it's not like the first draft I went to um, was Radio City Music Hall back in 2012, I believe it was. And at that time, they actually had a table for each of the teams. It didn't mean all the teams actually had their people there, as in their owners and stuff. But they actually had a table where they would actually turn in a card. Now, it's basically a little bit different because you have the Cowboys in their war room where they're together and meeting and everything else. And, you know, it's not like Jerry Jones was about to slip in the slot or hand it up to him or anything like that. So you wonder how much of that is actually true. This is a little bit of an insight. Now, we've all, or at least I've wondered why Will McClay hasn't taken a job elsewhere. The Dallas Cowboys, since Will McClay became head of scouting department, um, all pros, I want to say their time, the first round draft picks, all pros, the Cowboys are tied with the San Francisco 49ers with nine all pro seasons. That's the list. And they've done really, really well in there. Um, Will McClay is that guy who, you know, you'll hear him talk from time to time. Sometimes he's like, who is that? Oh, oh that's Will McClay, isn't it? Because it's not Jerry and Stephen Jones. They like to be the front guys. They like to be the, the people that are in the camera light and everything else. But you see from this clip how integral or how, how important Will McClay is to the Dallas Cowboys in the drafting department. I've often wondered why Will McClay has not taken a job where he can be the GM. And it may be that he is kind of the GM with just not the title. Let's listen in on this because this is actually really interesting because this seems like a lot calmer, a lot calmer draft room than what we've been led to believe. I really take the nose call. We have a one and two together. You got, you got two minutes. We'll just get warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> well, who would you take? Personally, I would go with Mozzie because I know that he helps us now with the guard. I love the guard, too. My question is, you're adding something to it where we have depth. I think the defensive lineman gives you an immediate starter and something for the future. I am cut through if we missed one of those two guys after having them both here in our hands. We're better on a line of scrimmage with either one of these guys. We've had offensive linemen there. We've had the opportunity to pick them. We've not had a defensive lineman, interior defensive lineman, that high in quite some time. We're good. Let's keep on the phone. They beat me. Hello? Yo. What's happening, baby? What's up, man? Hey, I, I got somebody that wants to talk to you, my man. Hold yes, on sir. one second. Yes, sir. Is this Mozzie? There you have it. This is Will McClay. Truly, Will McClay putting the stamp on it. To me, it's still amazing that we drafted. Uh, I mean, literally, I couldn't believe. I, I didn't even think about the possibility of us drafting a interior defensive lineman. Before the third round, I was amazed when we got John Ridgeway last year in the fifth round and was kind of pissed because I'm like, you know, if we had had that guy, we wouldn't have to be worrying about getting somebody else. Now, a lot of people are out there, you know, that are, I want to say that a lot of people don't understand the intricacies of football where some people will think that an edge rusher is a, a defensive lineman. Technically, they're defensive linemen, but there's edge rushers, okay, defensive ends, there's outside linebackers, there's 
a difference between the two. One puts his hand in the dirt. Typically, the other one is standing up and having a little bit more responsibility in pass coverage. But even from a defensive tackle versus a nose tackle, it's night and day different. And unfortunately, people, because of fantasy football and the numbers and the statistics, they'll look at a guy like Mozzie Smith and say, oh, he doesn't get any sacks. He sucks. There's a lot more to the defense than just the sacks. You'd love to see sacks, but see, that's not his job. You don't understand. I'm going to try and hopefully have enough time to do some of this, but to do some film breakdown. Mozzie's job is not to get sacks. Mozzie's job is to take the bullets for everybody else. Mozzie's job is to occupy space. He is there to hold the line. There is no position like this one. You are abused every single play. You get hit from every which direction. From the center, the guard, the guard in the center, the other guard in the center, the fullback, the tight end on wham blocks, the tackle and influences and traps. You take that abuse and you get no glory. (coughs) And because we haven't had, (coughs) excuse me, (coughs) sorry, I'm choking here. Because we haven't had that guy on the Dallas Cowboys. The last time I'll say we had a guy that was good was probably Jay Ratcliffe back about 2007. And we haven't drafted a guy that high since I want to say Russell Maryland back in the 90s, who I think has three rings. This move right here is huge. Not only because he's huge. But this is huge for everybody across the board on this line, on this defense. This Dallas Cowboys team and watching the draft right there, we thought in looking at this, you know, what what we heard um, reports early while we were at the draft that, you know, that Mike McCarthy and crew, they looked like they were mad. They were on the phone and maybe they're trying to make a trade. They didn't know what they were looking for or what they wanted. I mean, unless this was scripted and, you know, that they went back through and re-recorded the situation, that draft room looked really, really, really good. Really thoughtful. It wasn't, you know, fly by the seat of your pants. Here's our need. Defensive line, offensive line. Which one is going to give us bigger impact? Mozzie can probably be a starter right now. Uh, I'm not sure who they're planning on having as a starting guard unless we're talking about moving Tyler Smith to guard. But maybe that is the plan. I don't know. But I like what I saw right there, and I love what I saw from Will McClay, who basically is telling you, they put it in his hands. He was the final say, really, on that, as opposed to Jerry Jones. Maybe for once, the Dallas Cowboys have their shit together. We'll see how it works out. And with that being said, I got some more work to do. I've got some film breakdown that we're working on, and I need to get it done. I'll see you guys later. Peace.